will run you down Down to your car Oh, way down we go What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Most importantly, welcome back to another episode of the Me vs. Me series. Uh, this is episode three. Uh, I'm going to try and keep this kind of short, sweet, simple. Um, it's like 9 30, 10 a.m. Um, and Stu just told me that he's not really going to be able to live till like four o'clock today. So I'm going to try and get like a lot of this stuff nailed out real quick in this video. Um, so pretty much after this, all the videos you're going to see is just us lifting and, you know, some of the cool stuff that some people may have not seen before. Um, so in my last video, I said that we were 11 weeks out. Uh, we were really 12. Um, I miscalculated the hell out of that. Uh, but now we are 11 weeks out. It is July 25th, uh, Tuesday. We have bench today. Um, it's really light. Um, I'm trying to eventually crack a 300 pound bench. Um, the most I have uh, benched before is like 265. Um, so it's also part of raising that up and shooting towards that goal of a 300 bench eventually. Um, our day's pretty simple. We have a five by five at 75%. So like super light, 195 pounds, I think maybe. Um, then after that, we have like four sets of 10 um, on dumbbell bench uh, weight. You moderate that. Uh, you go up, you progressively go up. After that, we have pull throughs. Um, let's see, reverse hypers, weighted back pulls, um, or raises, and there's something else, I think, and good mornings. Um, so, most of that is lower body, except for the first two I named off. Uh, reason being is that I'm on week four of my deadlift program. So, for three weeks of the deadlift program, you will lift, and every fourth week, you will have a lower body, like, light day. So, accessory work. Uh, for lack of better terms. Um, so that is where the good mornings, the weighted back raises, um, the pull throughs and the reverse hypers come through. Um, and if anybody that watches this that isn't familiar with what a, um, a reverse hyper is, I highly suggest you look it up. It's about an $800 machine, probably a little over 800 on rogue.com. It is very, it's a very good machine. My gym's had it for a couple years now, and I totally forgot we even had it for the simple fact of it being everybody turned it into a table. Um, so once I seen it, I put it all back together. Well, not all of it, but like I put it back together, and I started using it. Um, and that that refines from uh, a legend in the game, may God rest his soul, Louis Simmons of Westside Barbell. Um, genius, uh, <laughs> in my own opinion. Um, you know, you can watch Westside Barber on YouTube actually for free um, right now. And I, I suggest, like, if anybody's curious to watch that, uh, his famous quote with that was like, uh, if you want to be a champion, you buy one. If you want to not be a champion, you don't buy one. <laughs> but let's get on with it. Um, so that's a little bit rundown of my day. Um, another thing I need to add that I know I mentioned in the last video is about me and Stu signing up for this meet. So we've officially done that. We've done that last week. Um, it's a little weird because this is a new federation. This is the IPA, uh, federation for us. We usually compete USPA and I think he's down a little bit in USA powerlifting. Um, so this is a new federation for both of us. Um, I've read over the rule book and everything, uh, but it's, it's just new. They use a mono lift, which, uh, you know, versus a regular squat rack, like you've seen me, uh, lift on, I think it was last episode or something or the first episode, um, you know, it's a little different instead of, you know, putting the weight on your shoulders and walking out. It's, um, it's kind of, can get out to get set in your actual squat stance, lift up and like, they will, uh, throw these little racks back and like, you know, you just listen to commands and perform your squat right there. You don't have to walk it out, but uh, I'm sure some people still do. Um, I've only lifted on one of those once, a uh, mentor, coach of mine, USPA national judge, Danny Akers, um, has one in his house that I've used. This has been years ago, uh, but I'm looking forward to hopefully using it during this prep as well. Um, and I will have a video coming to y'all when I go down there for that as well. Um, I'm trying to think, 
if there's anything else I really need to add because we're at like five minutes already. Um, other than that, guys, really, I don't, I can't think of anything crazy to say. Um, other than like Sue's got a super heavy bench going on today. I'll, I'm, I'll get some commentary from him. I don't know if Daquan's gonna be there. Um, but so far, so good, guys. Uh, prep's going awesome. Um, you know, my squat program has had volume in the last three weeks, so my legs have been feeling it, like, every week. <laughs> but overall, um, the bench program I'm running right now is only four weeks long, technically five if you max out. Excuse me. Um, the reason I'm running it is because I do run a Russian Soviet Union type bench program. Uh, naturally for my um, my bench program and uh, those dudes are strong and that program put a lot of weight on my bench press it got me to shoot it up but I'm not gonna get too much into that because we're at six minutes and I don't want to bore you guys with me talking uh, but without further ado guys I'm gonna go ahead and in this clip the next clip you will see uh, we'll probably be warming up or something of that nature. I just wanted to get on here real quick, talk to y'all, give y'all a little rundown how everything's going. 11 weeks out, man, and it it it, it flies by. It, like once you're once you once you're signed up, you got all that out of the way. You can strictly focus on your prep, and you go. You're busting out your workouts, your lifts for the week. It's insane. Um, like I said, next video is gonna be us warming up and everything. Hope y'all stay tuned. Hope y'all watch all of this. Really. Um, and I'll see y'all in the next clip.
All right, guys, give you a little recap of the gym session you saw. I was gonna try and squeeze in some commentary and stuff, but I just had a bunch of stuff that come up and I had to basically get in the gym, get out, type ordeal. Um, that kind of wraps up pretty much my week. I have bench on Friday again, uh, squatted Monday. And like I said, um, I don't deadlift tomorrow uh, on Wednesday. But all the lower body exercises you saw me hit in this video uh, are all designed more or less to work with your glutes, your hamstring, your lower back. The reverse hypers. I said it once, I think, in the intro. I don't know if I did. I can't remember. May God rest his soul, Louis Simmons. A genius, a goat. The reverse hyper. Lower back, glutes, hamstring. He's Literally, he quoted it, and he said, if you want to be a champion, buy it. If you want to be in second place, don't buy it. I might try and fit that in at some point in the beginning of this video somewhere. But anyways, uh, reverse hyper, three sets of 12. Uh, good mornings, three sets of 12. The, um, the pull-throughs, three sets of 12. And then the, it was supposed to be weighted back raises, which is that little machine in the uh, little small area you saw. Um, supposed, like I said, supposed to be weighted, but I just, I was in a hurry. So I just went ahead and done body weight. Um, all designed to help your lower body and your back. Um, so generally, uh, every three week, like three weeks straight, I'll lift on deads and every fourth week is a day like today. So, or a week like this week, I don't deadlift, um, aiming for at 500 deadlift, three and a half times body weight. So, I mean, hopefully it falls guys. I'm excited. We got 11 weeks to do this thing. So there's Anything can happen, anything's possible. Just hoping God keeps me healthy and you know, we go from there. Um, but without further ado, guys, I'm gonna get in here. I got like all this food I'm about to destroy. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um, like, comment, subscribe, and stay tuned for episode four. Episode four, we're probably going back to deadlifts next week. So it's probably gonna be in exactly a week until I drop another one. Uh, but until then guys, stay blessed, stay humble. See y'all in the next one.